Today's April 1st, right? So it's April Fool's, some retarded tradition. No clue where it came from. But you know, it's a Monday today, right? So all these men, they're gonna go into their 9 to 5, into their little shitty car, right? Little fucking Peugeot. They're gonna go to work in their little work shirt, right? The shirt that literally, like, grips your neck. You can't breathe, right? Because you have to do your top button. Your other colleagues are gonna come in and say, look, you got a stain on your shirt. And you look down, like, oh, April Fool's. You're fucking gay, bro. What the fuck? Is that the life you want to live? Is that the life you want to live? Of course not, right? But either way, today I woke up at 3.31. As always, right? And my alarm goes off at about 3.30. So by the time I write it on my board, it's already 3.31. You know what I'm saying? But either way, I've already done about 2-3 hours of work. Right now it's 6.30 on the dot. I've already done 2 hours of work. You've not even opened your eyes. You're getting ready to go to your little job, to go to school. You've not even made enough money to drop out yet. Or quit your job. You should be ashamed. So today, you're going to watch this, right? After work. After school, think of school and work as the thing you're running away from. Use it as fuel to lead you to that cheese. Use it as the cat chasing you, right? That's what I want you to do. Start waking up at 4 a.m. before your work, before your school. Put three hours of work in. Because you know when you wake up, you have the most brain power. So when you come home from work, school, you're not going to work, right? Because your brain power's already gone. You can't think properly. You gotta wake up early, right? It's either early mornings, late nights. And late nights never really worked, right? You need to put the most brain power into your business. Because you're working for the worst person possible yourself but either way if you eat carbs i'm gonna fuck you up in business every single time you might outlift me in the gym a little bit who gives a fuck you're still broke i probably lift more than you anyway you know what i'm saying just comment how much you bench right now to boost the algorithm right so that more people buy my product right but either way if you eat carbs i'm gonna fuck you up every single time there's no if buts or maybes i will right straight up hands down there's no exception you don't need any vegetables you don't need no fruits so one year ago I'm a fighting age male, a guy who should be strong, a guy who shouldn't even need any sleep. I should be able to grind 24s. At 16 years of age, we should be thriving with tests. But at this point, I was going to college, you feel me? I'm coming back, and I couldn't be asked going tomorrow. I knew what was coming, right? I knew if I didn't make a change, I'd go off to live a normal life. It's on the weekends. I just straight up told myself, I'm just gonna grind. You know what I'm saying? Which now I know, that's just a lack of discipline. You can't even wake up early. So you have to wait till the weekends. You're just not dedicated enough. Well, either way, I'm gonna grind on the weekends, right? On the holidays, I'm gonna grind. So I remember I was waking up, proper motivated, right? Get out of bed. First thing, push-ups. Cold shower. Go downstairs. Make a nice healthy meal to fuel myself to succeed. I bring my little bowl of porridge upstairs. I eat it quick time because I'm gonna get to work. Five minutes later, I'm asleep. What the fuck? You know what I'm saying? A fighting age male. It's the morning and I go to sleep. What the fuck? It's about an hour after waking up. I'm a fighting age male and I went to sleep. What the fuck is wrong with me? I had good sleep, I had a cold shower, push ups, I had momentum. My blood was flowing. I had a chest pump, right? So why the actual fuck am I gonna sleep? Am I retarded? Have I got diabetes or some shit? Or am I just a lazy prick? So then after I'd wake up, still feel like shit. I was still experiencing brain fog and I didn't do the work that I set out to do. So you know what I do? I just hit a gym session. Then for the rest of the day, I'll just watch some content, right? Play some chess. Feels productive. That's what Tate said, right? But now I know why this happened. And you probably have a little clue. I got to my PC. I sat down on my little crusty kitchen chair. Which now, it's not a crusty kitchen chair no more. It's a nice leather seat. With nice massage functions. And heated seats, right? But we don't really want heated seats, right? That's gonna lower your sperm count. But I sat down on my crusty little pillow on my kitchen chair. Which smelled like shit. Yeah, bro, time to grind. You know what I'm saying? Time to grind. Yeah, bro, I'm ready to grind. I'm ready to make it out finally. 10 minutes later, I'm in fucking bed. What the fuck? Genuinely, I was so confused when this happened. Because I was watching these like, motivational montages. Like this Tristan Tate. You're 17, you don't need sleep. Cut sleep out. I wake up at 5.59am and I go to sleep at 6am. Guy slept for 23 hours and 59 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, what the fuck? Am I just undisciplined? I go to sleep in the morning. Even when I just got 9 hours of sleep. Good sleep, cold shower, clear mental health. At this point, I was meditating for like, what, 150 days? Or some shit. I took it very seriously, like, religiously. Healthy food. You know what I'm saying? Porridge? Oats? Healthy. Bananas? Healthy. Honey? Healthy. It was like the store-bought honey. You know, I bought it from Aldi, right? The clear honey? Fucking shit, right? I know it has no ingredients, right? And it's real honey. But if you look at the back, it says it's a mixed blend of different uh, honeys from EU and non-EU. And the thing is, Honey, it's expensive. So how the fuck are they selling a whole jar for two pounds? These countries, right, they're pretty poor. So they're trying to make some money. So they don't actually fucking use honey. In the process, they can use sugar syrup. If you've ever tasted raw honey, that shit tastes amazing, right? It tastes sweet, like really sweet. But it's a very distinct taste. Very different than store-bought honey. I don't think it's from filtration, however. Because I remember I went to the cinema one time. I was healthy, right? Healthy. I decided to treat myself a massive cheat meal. A bag of frozen fruits and some 
honey, right? I'm just eating this, right? And halfway through eating, I just feel the honey starts to taste like shit. Like, it starts to taste like chemicals. Weird fucking chemicals. If you've done this, you know what I'm saying. My like, honey just starts tasting like fucking weird as fuck, right? And guess what? Next day I wake up, and I'm fucking sick. Next day I wake up, I got a sore throat, block nose. And one year before this, I never got sick. It's fucking weird, right? Or it's weird as fuck, right? You have all this, but you're still tired, and you can't work. There must be a reason for it. For every effect, there is always a cause. You know poor people throughout history. You do a simple Google search. What did poor people eat throughout history? Bread, potatoes, porridge. You know these little carbs, right? Carbs. Seemingly healthy. You know bread. We're not talking about the bread from like fucking Hobbes or some shit. Warburton's. Just normal four ingredient bread. Because it's cheap to make, right? Potatoes, which is potatoes, and porridge. Very interestingly, there's no meat. No meat, right? But there's vegetables. They ate this because it was cheap. They were poor. We already know, right? Like, with this free content, you're watching me right now. You're giving me views. You're giving me your attention. You're paying me with your attention. We already know, right? With this content, not in money, but in views and your attention. Because at the end of this video, I'm going to link you to my Discord server. From my Discord server, you're going to see my data set center. When you see my data set center, you sign up with your email to get my free full guides. From those free full guides, I got your email. Now, every single day, I'm going to send you an email. I'm going to send you an email giving you some tips. Right, just quick tips. And at the end of that email, I'm going to link you to a YouTube video of a tweet. And that tweet then explains my business. That tweet then explains my product. Then you might get interested in it. And you might buy it. Money in my pocket. It's all a funnel, right? You're paying me with your attention. You're a potential customer right now. Nothing is free in this life. So we know cheap food will also come with a price. That's a reason things are cheap. There is a reason. Now let's talk about the kings. The people who have access to anything they want. Any woman they want, they'll bring them in. Any food they want, they'll bring it in. Anything in the entire fucking world. With a quick Google search, you find that they had meat dishes. Exotic and meat dishes. What do you think exotic is? Steaks. Do you think exotic and think porridge, pasta, potatoes? It's gonna be shit like steak. You know those golden fucking wrapped steaks in like 24 karat gold? Steaks, exotic meats, like swan. I know, uh, I researched this, so they eat fucking swan, right? Which is a bit weird, right? Why the fuck would you eat a swan, right? I go to my local park, and I would not scram that shit, right? I fuck with swans. There's like three in my local park. I walk past the swan in my park, right? I go towards them. I dap them up, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't scram them personally, but you get the point. Exotic and meat dishes. These kings had access to everything. Now, of all things, they picked meat. Why do you think that? Why do you think they picked the big fatty meats? Because it makes you perform the best. As a king, you want to reign the throne for as long as possible. So you're going to fucking eat the foods that make you reign as long as possible. And optimize your power. Foods that make you powerful, which is fucking meat, right? There's nothing more powerful than eating another species. You're not going to eat a little fucking potato. You can't imagine a king go to fucking Morrison's and come out with a couple bags of basmati rice. He's not going to do that, right? He's not going to be eating a bowl of pasta like some faggot, right? Why do you think the poor are fed grains? To keep them slow, so they can't rebel against the king. He could enforce any rules he wants, so they feed them grains. So they can't get big and powerful, they can't optimize their brain power. They have to eat these little fucking grains, bro. Like, when I think of the word grains, I just think of, like, scraps. You know what I'm saying? You're feeding them scraps, when you're, like, the leader, eating, like, the big fucking steaks. You know animals, bro, like lions, wolves, when they hunt something, the first thing they bite is like the proper fatty bits. Fatty bits of the animal. Like they rip the organs out of the stomach. They eat the fat, they eat the brains. That's where the most fat is. It's fun fact, right? Your brain is made up 70% of fats. And even more fun fact, this will really hook your attention. Testosterone. I know you love testosterone. Testosterone is made up out of cholesterol. Isn't that crazy? What have you been told your whole life? Cholesterol is bad. Why do they do that? There are leaders above you. The kings. They want to keep you poor, so you can't rebel against them. So what are they going to tell you? Cholesterol is bad. It's the same dynamic. They've been doing this for the whole time. They've been doing this for centuries. The whole fucking eternity. The kings get power. The richer get richer. The poorer get poorer. It's not because of investments or some shit. They feed them shit like grains. They put them down. And they put themselves up. And the best way to put someone down, someone enable, you just feed them the wrong fuel. It's like having a car that runs on diesel and you fill it up with petrol. Of course it's going to be tired. It's not going to perform as well. That's common sense, right? But you're still doing this. Okay, so now we know. The poor people eat grains. The big rich people eat fatty meats. But the thing is, right, you might be thinking, but we can't really feed people that anymore. Because it's the 21st century, right? We can do anything we want. We can be a little blue-haired feminist, right? You can be a little fucking they them. You can be a furry, bro. So you can't really force anything on anyone. Because they'll start fucking... Because fat gay women will start to shout at you. You know what I'm saying? So what do you do? Tell them meat is bad. Tell them an egg will kill you. A little fucking egg. But guess what won't kill you? By the way, seed oils. You know they're bad, right? You don't know why they're bad. You know, I've got access to a biohacking course. And I went through it. But there's some mad info in there. Seed oils go through a mad process. It's like, you know canola oil? They use canola seeds. Guess what? Canola seeds aren't even a thing. They are made of something called rapeseed. And rapeseed just sounds fucked, right? When you hear the name rapeseed, you should go away from it anyway. I've got it on Notion. Right, let me just have a look. Hey bro, I'll tell you. You know butter, right? Real butter. 
that's just made of that's literally made out of separating cream from milk and shaking it right easy process canola seeds they don't exist in nature so it's taken from rapeseed which is genetically modified heavily dosed with pesticides then they go through extreme heat oxidation then extraction from these oils involve a petroleum solvent a petroleum fucking solvent so that's what you're eating here then it then it heats up again. Then they need to use acid treatments to get rid of these solvents, these petroleums. Then chemicals to improve the color, right? Then, de then deodorization. I can't fucking say it. Deodorization? Yeah, deodor deodorization, bro. To get rid of the bad smells from all the chemical processes. Healthy oils, by the way. Better than butter. They literally spray fucking Lynx Africa on your food, bro. But either way, you can't force anything to the modern day people. So what would you do? Red meat is bad. And I will kill you. Well, let's not forget about this. This biggest piece of propaganda I've ever seen. I remember going to school in year 9 in food tech. This is the first thing they show you. This is for kids, by the way. Four servings of bread, cereals, and potatoes. They're telling your kids to eat cornflakes, to eat fucking Cheerios. The thing is with me, I used to eat like four whole bowls of cereal a day. Like a midnight snack every single fucking night. That's fucked, bro. They're telling your kids, right? Raw milk is unhealthy. You need hormonized milk, right? You put that in a bowl, put some chocolate cereal, right? Or you put like them, or you put those little square cereal. That's what I loved, right? You know those little square cereals? But the branding in the box has like faces on the square cereal. So that's cinnamon, some shit, right? And they eat all that sugar, right? And it tastes amazing. After you've ate all the cereal, you drink the fucking sugary milk. Because <laughs> it's good for your bones, right? It's fucking retarded, bro. Fats and oils, use occasionally. And I've already told you, testosterone made up of oils, made up of fats. It's fucked, right? You're still eating like a fucking slave, a peasant. And you're expecting to get rich. It's like trying to win the lottery while buying a ticket. Are you retarded? This is what a powerful meal looks like. And it looks good as well, you know what I'm saying? People say carnival looks bad, and it tastes like shit. But bro, just look at this. Wow, what, five eggs, one kilo of beef? I could devour that right now. I love eggs, right? This is how your ancestors would have ate. They would find a chicken, find its little nest of eggs, crack the shell open, just crack into the mouths. I'm not telling you to do that, but eggs are pure testosterone. Trust me. I used to eat 16 eggs a day. If you're an OG, you know that, right? 16 eggs a day. And let me tell you, the benefits were nice. I would never get tired. Felt like I was just on top, on top of everyone. But now I'm practicing more of a meat focus. A little bit of eggs, about five eggs a day. Then I just eat beef mince until I'm full, right? And if you're saying to yourself right now, I can't afford this, I just want you to know, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed. You could go out of your door right now. Cold approach a woman, right? Go band for band with her. Compare bank balances. And she'll have more than you. Her motivation to get this money is makeup. Your motivation to get this money is to make it out of the system. Which one's more powerful, right? She's more disciplined than you. What the fuck is wrong with you? I don't care if you're 13. I don't care if you're 12, right? Make some fucking money, you broke fuck. If you're fat, if you're broke, I don't respect you. Straight up. Oh, if you're making it out, if you're in the process, I respect you. Of course I do. I'm proud of you, bro. But if right now you're not doing anything, you're going to the gym, you're watching content, I don't respect you. If that's all you're doing, you have no life. You have no discipline. And I can't respect a guy with no discipline. It's impossible. No woman will like you. You will not get respected. You're a little bitch. Broke bitch. You can't even afford a fucking diet. People are making 10k in their sleep. You can't afford a bunch of eggs. You're fucking special. It's time for a wake-up call, right? No one will tell you this brutal reality, but I give a fuck, right? You know I'm saying all this shit, right? Like, you're broke. If you're 13 and you're broke, you're a fucking retard, right? You know why I'm saying this? Because I wish someone told me this. I wish someone really hit me with that brutal reality. I wish someone just slapped me. Raised in this feminine society. Raised in a house with no father. Raised in femininity. I wish I wasn't. But now I made a change. So of course you can. I know I'm only 17. But see me as a father figure. Because in this game, I don't think it's about age. I think it's about wisdom. And wisdom doesn't come with age. It comes with knowledge. The reason, when you think of wisdom, like you, you think of this like old guy. Like with a big bushy beard. That's what you think of, right? That's not because he aged. Because he gained knowledge through those ages. Through aging. It's not about your age. So bro, I'm saying this shit because I was in your position. You see this right here? That's me right now. That's me right now, bro. There are other influences, other people beside me that are looking down at you, climbing this mountain. These other guys beside me, they're looking at you throwing rocks, right? They're hoping you fall. They're hoping you quit. They're hoping for less competition. I want to help you. I was in your exact position. They're throwing rocks. I'm shouting at you where the rocks are coming from. I'm trying to block them. I've got a big pole, not my cock, right? I'm trying to reach down there. Get you to grab it, bro. Get you to grab it. Get to success quicker, bro. That's what I want for you. Because I know the pain. I know the pain of not having anything. Because I know your pain. I've been in your position. These men, they've not been in your position. They don't know what the struggle is like. They don't know what it's like. I don't know what it's like. I'm going to help you, right? So if, even if you can't afford this diet right now, I'm going to give you a way to afford it. You know, apparently in America, they have Aldi. I didn't even know that, right? I need you to get on this diet. I need you to get on this diet. This diet will, I'll tell you. This is cheaper than normal food, right? One kilogram of chicken thighs, £2.85, probably about $4. And if it's not grass-fed or some shit, you don't need to care. Grass-fed 
pasture raised. That's the that's the best thing to eat, right? When it's not grass fed, when it's not pasture raised, that's the second best thing to eat. It's better than all these carbs. Don't worry if it's not grass fed. It's not that deep. This will make a huge change in your life. I'm gonna give you a step to do right now. I'm gonna tell you to act on something right now. And if you don't take this, you're just letting my words go to waste. And I despise you. I've spoke for so long, and you're just letting this energy from the words go to waste. Inside one ear, out the other. You need to take action. If you're watching these videos, you're probably broke. If you go to this far, firstly, I am proud of you. You've got an attention span longer than most people's, right? But I know you're pretty broke. I know you're not at the point that you want to be. If you was, you won't be watching these videos, you'll be working. You'd know what to do. So you need to take this step. Because I want to help you, right? I want to help you. In the next seven days, from when you watch this, whatever day it is, today's April 1st for me, from tomorrow, from the 2nd of April, if you're watching this on April 1st, seven days, your carnivore diet. Eat four ingredients. Fatty meat, chicken thighs, that's fine. Beef mince, any, any meat that has a lot of fat, right? By the way, never drink tap water. Worst comes to worst, get plastic water bottles. It's better than tap water. It's not ideal, but it's better than tap water. These four ingredients, that's all I want you to eat. And you will have no brain fog. You know, in the middle of the day, right? You are fighting age male like yourself. You have naps. Why the fuck do you have naps? Not because you're tired, because your body needs to digest. You know, after you eat some like shit, like carbs, you can't think for the next two hours. You're brain fog. You're falling asleep on your chair like a retard. That's because your insulin went up. You got a glucose spike, which makes you tired, which makes you store body fat. Did you know, right? Without glucose spike, you can't store fat. It's impossible. And with meat, salt, and with proteins and fats, you can't get insulin spike. It's impossible. You get no brain fog, you get leaner, clear skin. Calories don't matter. That's the beauty of it, right? This is good for two reasons. You can just eat until you're full. So when you're doing business work later in the day, you're not starving, right? You're not starving yourself. You save brain power. You don't need to track every single calorie. Because, you know, sometimes meat can taste like shit. Sometimes the smell of it, the look of it, wants to make you throw up. Sometimes you think, fuck, I need that right now in my life. Like every woman when she looks like me, right? So that's your body telling you, we need those nutrients right now, or we don't. So whenever you feel hungry, right? So I want you to try. Eat a fatty source of meat, a beef, eggs. That's all I eat, to be honest. Chicken thigh. Chicken thigh skin, especially. If you like the taste, it means you're actually hungry, right? If you don't like the taste, it's addiction to carbs. Because, bro, with carbs, you can eat as much as you want. Like with sweet shit, say fruits even. You can eat as much as you want. It's like an addiction, right? You're full, but you see a strawberry. You see a raspberry. You want that shit, right? You're full, and you see a plate of meat. Like, fuck that. One is sweet, one you can indulge on. The other one is just something your body needs. When you had enough, it just tells you to stop eating it. You can eat as much as you want until you stop wanting to eat, which you should stop. So you will literally get leaner while getting full doing this. It's mad, bro. Start eating and stop eating when it tastes bad. It's that simple. How do you think our ancestors lived? Do you think they counted calories like a little pussy? Do you think they had my fitness pal? Do you think they knew what calories feast on the animal they just killed until you're not hungry anymore? They weren't fat and they fought tigers. It's not unhealthy, right? Let me explain this quickly. 25,000 years ago, the glacial period, the ice age has just ended. And that ice age lasted 75,000 years. And in the ice age, no plants grow. Of course not, it's in freezing temps. So all day it was these pricks on the screen. Woolly mammoths. They'd kill one, and now they have months of food. That's all they ate. Did we go extinct? No, right? And you know what's really interesting? You know when you eat loads of meat, right? Your body like starts sweating, you get like really hot, right? I think this came from the ice age. Because we ate meat only, right? And it was really cold. So our body has adapted to use that meat for warmth. Fucking crazy, right? And it still happens now. But either way, bro, I just want to say, I'm proud of you. Firstly, for sticking to the end. Secondly, for actually optimizing your body for success. Imagine all these other guys around you. Let's go in third person for a second. Look at these other houses around you. Let's look inside them. What are these men doing? Scrolling on TikTok right now. Wanking their dicks off. They're not doing this. They are not doing this. I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud. The dedication you have is crazy. In five years' time, from the point you are now, you might be at the lowest point of your life right now. Five years' time, you're going to be where you want to be. I don't know where you're going to be. I don't know where I'm going to be. But I know it's something good. Right, bro? It's all part of the process. Trust me on that. The amount of times I felt like quitting. The amount of times where I was so fucking stressed. And I never quit because I thought it was part of the process. It always paid off. Quitting has never paid off. It's all part of the process. It's only a matter of time until you burst the pipe. When I think of it like that. But either way, bro, I really need you. I don't want you. I need you to take the action step. I need you to change your diet for the next seven days. If you don't do this, you've just let my words go to waste. You've just heard something that would change your life. You think, nah, I won't do it. This is why you haven't reached success. Right, you need to take action. This is the sole reason why you're not successful yet. You listen to all this content, you never take any action. Make my videos different. You know I care about you. I want success for you. So every single video, I give you an actionable step to do. So every single video, you can do something straight away after. Because I want you to change your life. Not just mentally masturbate on this. But either way, take the action step. Promise to yourself that you'll do it. Because bro, if you break that promise now, you're going to become less confident. You can't even trust yourself. How are others going to trust you? 
This is why you go gym, right? You can't hold eye contact with a woman there. You see a guy smaller than you, and you're, you're not confident in yourself. So you look away, right? You're a pussy, right? I need you to take action. But either way, bro, tomorrow 5pm, every single day 5pm, I'm gonna upload the next part of this. As you can tell, this is a series, right? This is all part of a playlist. Tomorrow's the next part, right? 5pm. So I need you to subscribe right now, turn on notifications, get your dinner, and watch me. There's now over 580 members in the busy center. Join that right now. I'm pretty active in there. You get my work playlist, the data set center, which is three full guides that I've posted. And these guides, by the way, take me weeks to make, right? It's fucking mad. And every single day, I'll send you some tips and tactics on the silent network, which, by the way, price increase three to four X soon. Go in the description right now. Those two links at the bottom, these explain the silent network. So if you want to know more, go there right now. Subscribe right now, click all those links, and I'll see you tomorrow. Right, bro? 5 p.m. For now, take care of yourself.